Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to download and install Fortinet Firewall VMware version. This is completely free for the end users and I'm going to show all the steps how you can successfully download this and how you can successfully install this in your own VMware workstation version. I didn't check this but with the Oracle virtual box but this is pretty good working with the VMware workstation. First of all we need to download this Fortinet firewall OS firmware. So we have to create an account in Forti Cloud and then we can download it and then we can install it. Okay. You need to Google Fortinet firewall firmware download and then you will go to this website Fortinet support download firmware website and this is Forti Cloud login first of all you need to create an account with this this is basically you can use any email because this is not required to add your work email or student email in this case I'm going to create account which is I want to show you step by step how you can do this I'm going to copy my email address over here and I'm going to click create account then click I am a human click one of these to break the pattern click next again checking in this one verify and get the email verification I'm getting email verification code over here and paste the code click next and then you have to add your password over here I'm going to use my password next just wait a little bit yep and then you need to add your details I'm adding my details here um, I don't have company Anyway, I will add Cybermed, United States, City, New York. You can add any details over here. Uh, any anything. This is not needed. You can simply Google New York phone number. Something like this. Or maybe copy this one and go there over here oh these are optionals you don't have to really and then click submit why this is yep United States which is fine and click submit and then you will be fine okay continue read and accept and then click complete so when you go back to your email app, you can see the details over here and then you can use your email as well as your password to log into your created account and click login and then you will be able to log in now you will get the security code to your email please go there copy your security e code paste in here and click go then you will be fine okay now you are in the 40 cloud account this is completely free you only need a gmail outlook or yahoo whatever email address and then you will be fine now there are some services available here products available here our focus is download the vmware version of the 40 os for that you need to go to support and click vm images click on there wait a little bit right this is the page you can see a lot of platforms over here and which version you need like 40 analyzer 40 manager 40 web in my case i'm going to go with the 40 gate so this is the firewall which i need and i'm going to go with the vmware esxi version not the nsx esxi version in here also you can see different versions available i'm not going to go with the latest version because it might be kind of unstable to our vm 
So I will go with 7.4.4 version. And when you're going to download, please be mindful this is to upgrade this version. So it is not for us. And this is for new deployment. This is also for upgrade. And this is for new deployment. I'm going to download this one because I need kind of bit old version because I'm thinking those versions are stable. I know there are still some bugs might be available, but this is for our lab setup, which is totally fine. I will click download and it will ask where to download. I will give my download folder here, click select and it is downloading. It just 100 megabit almost 100 megabit file so you can wait 10 20 seconds until it download then you can extract this file so while it's downloading i'm going to open my vmware workstation because we need vmware workstation to import this one i already tested once this firewall but I want to show you all the steps. So that's why I'm doing it freshly. It's been downloaded. Now we got our file. I'm going to extract the file to my download folder. And this is how it looks like once you extracted the downloaded file. This is just a .zip file. You can simply right click and click extract all then it will download in here we are focusing on this ovf file i'll show you how we can do this just copy the path go to your vmware workstation go to file and click open now we are going to open the ovf file i'm going to go my download folder and double click this one and then we are going to open this vm64 ovf file click open and then you will get this licensing agreement you can simply click accept click next and then a name i will add 40 firewall youtube and i'm fine with default location or maybe if you want you can i do have location for vms maybe i will create a new folder vm 40 youtube and then click ok and then click import this might take little time to import once you've done that so please bear with the time and you can see the memory is 2 gb process is just one hard drive is this amount so do not go to change these settings because if you change this you can't activate the licenses because this is a free version and it comes with the limited licensing in that case you don't have to change this but i'm going to change my network adapter settings because I want to give the DHCP IP from my DHCP pool. I already configured that on my VMware workstation network settings. If you don't know how to do that, please leave a comment in the comment section. I can do a, another video how you can configure networks on the VMware workstation. I will click OK. In that case, I just configure my first adapter, first network adapter to get the DHCP from the VMware workstation DHCP pool. Other than that, I'm not going to change any of these adapters. Obviously, you can use all the these adapters because it's only allow you to use three adapters in this limited version. Okay, I'm going to power on this machine. Click OK and then it will start the VMware workstation. We have to just wait a little bit like I said earlier and then we can go inside this. I will pause my video for a while because it's taking little time. So once it come back, I will come back. Now the image file, it, it has been installed. As you can see, there's a login. 
default login username is admin for this body firewall type admin and press enter then it will ask the password usually for the default vm image there's no password you can simply press enter again and then it will ask to enter a new password i'm going to give my new password and press enter again it asks to confirm your password again i'm confirming my password and press enter now you are good to go right so this is the 40 gate cli console in the firewall we already installed that we are fine now we need to access the gui there are two instances first you can configure static ip and then you can go to that ip from your web browser which is fine but easy of use i did the dhcp obviously not recommended way but it's for the video so i can show you which ip address which is assigned to this firewall show uh, i think it's config system interfaces then edit and press question mark and as you can see it's 192.168.100.135 now what i'm going to do is i'm going to my web browser open a new tab type 192.168.100.135 and press enter and then you will get the web interface of the fortinet firewall which is in the vmware workstation Username is admin and the password which you have added in the CLI and press enter. As you can see, there are licensing file upload space here, also 40 flex token there and evaluation licensing. So in this free version, we can use the evaluation licenses because it's free. And as you can see, these licenses can be used with these limited steps or limit with the limited features boundary. If you want more details, you can go to this page. I will put a link in the description. You can definitely have a look. Now I'm going to add my email address. I'm going to use the email address which I used to create this account because this is the email address we need to add over here right and the same password for that account and click ok and then in the same time when you click ok you can see this vmware workstation is going to reboot click ok and you can see it is requesting the trial licensing over here in the vmware workstation and once it requested if the VM can reach the internet, it will go ahead to the cloud and register your licenses and reboot the VM and then you can start configure the VM. This also might take little time. Sometimes some users get some issues with registering this one. In that case, for the forum have several posts you can troubleshoot those things i will try to post those links as well if anyone got any issues but i haven't got any issues when i was testing my first vm so hopefully this one also would be goes well but let's see looks like it might take little time so i'm gonna post my video and i'll come back once it's done like i said earlier i'm I'm getting an error. I don't know what it is, but that's fine. So I could able to successfully install another VM with the same version, but different email address. I can show you that one because it's working fine. Only this VM. I don't know what's going on with that VM, but I use the same thing. Only different is my email address. It's not registering. So that's fine but the way you have to do is similar you don't want to worry about that because it's same thing we'll wait to start my other vm and we'll go inside that and i can show you 
how you can do the things but keep that in your mind do not change the default vm settings as well as once you're done just add your email and password in the evaluation licensing and click ok then you will able to log in so my other vm was up i'm going to check the ip address it's 133 over here 133 admin and my password and there we go we are in this is the firewall interface one once you have configured the evaluation licensing so you can see a lot of details here it's just like a normal firewall like actual firewall so as you can see this is running with evaluation licensing you can access the console here and you can see pretty much things here the networks when you go to the networks and interfaces you can see your interfaces currently i'm using this interface if you want to change some you can use it from here and like i said earlier even if we have like multiple vms in our firewall when you go to the um, this one when you go to the settings and you can see multiple adapters but in the web version it's only allow you to three also it's only allow you to three networks and three policies as i remember but i think that will be enough you to do some practice in here you can configure the policies from here like let's say uh if you want to create a new policy policy name incoming interface outgoing interface source destination like usual stuff so it's it's good to have this experience when you're going to the industry because a lot of people using paid firewalls like fortinet sophos palo alto checkpoint cisco firepower kind of firewall other than using pfsense kind of firewall but it's really up to the companies but i have seen a lot of companies using 40 checkpoint palo alto like those firewalls at least if you can do some two three rules in here and you can have some hands-on experience with actual firewall that will be beneficial for your interviews or your resume or your future industry so as a cyber security students or professionals or cyber security enthusiasts it's is good to have or it is must to have this sort of knowledge with firewalls firewall rules how the firewall is working and all those stuff this firewall you can use to integrate with your kali linux or your other vms in your virtual lab environment and you can create a network like organization with the firewall some rules in between the vms lot of ideas in between these ones if you need such a video please leave a comment in the comment section i will definitely do that video i hope you guys learned something if you have any questions please do a comment or reach out me via the discord server so that's it for today thank you guys thank you